Okay, Caleb, that's last warning. Caleb, I've assigned you to print in and you keep jumping out. Be very careful. So you are going to remain in kids' class. Okay, now let's pray. Let's close our eyes, everybody. Close our eyes, everyone. Close your eyes. Want to pray? Okay, Jesus Christ started with prayer and ended with prayer. So that's why we need to pray, okay? Before we do anything, children, it is important we are praying. And now we want to pray. So close our eyes, everyone. Let's pray. Close the eyes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the grace and the opportunity given to us to come, to learn. We thank you for the gift of life. We say that the Lord be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Father, Lord Jesus, we pray, O Lord, tonight that you teach us all things. We pray your spirit will teach us everything we need to learn tonight. And we pray that at the end of tonight we shall be blessed. Every one of us shall be blessed. We shall be happy in the name of Jesus. We pray for our teacher, O oh Lord. We pray you will, you will teach her to be able to teach us properly in the name of Jesus. We pray your Holy Spirit will take over the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We cover all our children that are connected tonight in the blood of Jesus. We pray the blood of Jesus shall speak for us, shall deliver us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. So let's clap for Jesus, children. Make sure you are clapping. Make sure you are clapping. Good. Good. So, um, yeah, today we'll be reciting a very interesting part of the Bible, which is Proverb, the book of Proverb. So it's in the Old Testament. So Proverb is in the Old Testament, okay? So I'll quickly flash, um, remind us what we learned last week. So we learned about the books of the Bible. The Bible is divided into two parts, the New Testament, the Old Testament, you know. And then we also learned about the, um, yeah, the numbers of these books in the Bible. We have six books in the Bible. And then we read this, or we sang the song of the New Testament and we learned the first five books of the Old Testament. And I want to remind me, one of them, one of the first book, because we mentioned the first five books of the of the Old Testament are the books of law. So we mentioned um, five of them. Who wants to mention it for me? If you know, you could remember what we learned last week. Five, the first five books of the Old Testament. So, I'll be calling names now. So okay, let tell me, tell me one, one of the. You no, know, last week we give you a, a tip to remember: God's love never dies. So G, who wants to tell me the books of the, the book of the Bible that started with G? G, the book of the Bible that started with G. You want to tell me? So Emmanuel, meet yourself and talk. And tell me the book of the Bible that started with G. Omit yourself and talk. Top, I'll be very careful. Don't play in my class. Next time you put that emotical, I will remove you. Be very careful. Last one. Here. Okay, Ivan, are you ready to talk? Are you ready? Omit yourself and tell me. Okay, you don't want to talk. Okay, we, we mentioned that the Old Testament is divided into different parts and we focus on the first five books of the Bible because we want you to remember. Okay, children? So now every one of you, you need to watch the video for the last class. So the first book of the Bible. Imagine you want to talk now. Okay, unmute yourself and talk. Genesis. Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Old Testament. And children, um, in Easter we'll be having um our Easter um, Bible quiz. So you need to know these things. These are the questions we'll be asking you. And if you don't know, you won't be able to get gift from from us. You won't get gift from me. So you need to really know it. Okay. Good. So now, children, um, I need to see your Bible. Let me see your Bible. Everyone, let me see your Bible with your Bible. So one of the things you need for our new children, you need Bible and you need a jotter. So when you jot something down, you'll be able to remember. Okay, can you see Auntie's jotter? Good. And you need a pen. So can you see my pen? So don't worry if you don't have this week, that's fine. Okay, but next week you need to come with your Bible and your jotter and your pen. Okay, good. So good. So now, children, we'll quickly do our profession. So um, the first thing we are going to do now is you're going to touch your chest and you say something great to yourself, okay? So now, everyone, I need you to pay attention. Pay attention, everyone. So I trust in you, Lua and Zara. So touch your chest now and we want to say our confession, okay? Good. So our, the way you say our confession is, um, I will say Joy. So you call your name, okay? I will say, hi, Joy. So you call your name. Um, Elizabeth will say, hi, Elizabeth. Esther will say, hi, Esther. Um, 
Okay, okay, let's start now. Oh, she for me, sit down somewhere. She for me, sit down somewhere. So, children, don't be distracted by she for me, she's just a baby, okay? Good. Okay, let's start. Hi, Joy, so call your name. Hi, Joy. I know you, most of you, you've muted, but that's fine. This is really good. Hi, Joy, I said that, call your name. Hi. I am a glorious child. I am a glorious child. I am the head and not the tail. I am the head and not the tail. I am the best of the best in Jesus' name. I am the best of the best in Jesus' name. I am apple of God's eyes. I am apple of God's eyes. The Spirit of God is in me. The Spirit of God is in me. And I shall make more exploits in Jesus' name. And I shall make more exploits in Jesus' name. It is well with me in Jesus' name. It is well with me in Jesus' name. I am favored in Jesus' name. I am favored in Jesus' name. God bless my daddy and my mommy in Jesus' name. God bless my daddy and my mommy in Jesus' name. God bless me in Jesus' name. God bless me in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap yourself, children. Clap yourself. Good. So it is important you are saying something sweet, something lovely to yourself, children. So instead of you saying bad things to yourself, and you swearing at yourself, you need to be saying good stuff, okay? And that's just what we've um, just said, okay? Good. So now, children, tonight, let's open our Bible to the book of Proverbs. So we're going to, is Proverbs is in the Old Testament, okay? It's in the Old Testament. So I'll be expecting um, Treasure to be able to open that and share me and co, okay? So in your Lua, we are reading the book of Proverbs chapter 3. So let me know when you are there, children. Open your Bible now to the Old Testament, okay? If you don't, if you've not learned your book of the Old Testament, you need to read, learn it to be able to know, okay, where this um, Bible is. Um, chapter is in the bible okay so um we are hoping to the book of proverbs proverbs is after psalms uh, proverbs chapter 3 and then we'll be looking at verse 5 tonight so children don't worry because of our time i will help you here okay if there's noise in your background make sure you mute yourself okay if there's noise okay brown put that hands down okay i don't want to listen first okay i'll call you later on thank you so now we'll be looking at, uh, I'll be reading my Bible for you, okay, children, I'll be helping you out tonight. So um, we are looking at the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. So I'm going to read it loud and clear. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So children, today, God wants us to trust Him with all our heart, with all our spirit, with all our soul. And God does not want us to lean on our own understanding. So this is what we'll be reciting tonight of children and at the end of tonight's class we should be able to recite you know proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 okay so now let's start we want to say after me let's start okay after we've recited it until we explain and we'll recite it again and we'll now dance okay to a song on this verse okay good so now children i'll say after me proverbs 3 everyone say that proverbs chapter 3 proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 say that Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Make sure you open your mouth, everyone. So, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Say that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Says, says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. We have said that, children. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. We have said that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Can you see Auntie now? Yeah, do that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah, say that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. You can say that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not lean on your own understanding. So that's what we are learning tonight. Okay, the pretend will be learning. Um, chapters um, verse 6 but we will be stopping at verse 5 because we are kids okay good so let's start all over again children so we're going to recite after me proverbs 3 proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 yeah say that children proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 say that everybody proverbs let's see open your mouth and talk proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says trust in the lord with all your heart so yeah say that Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
and lean not on your whole understanding. Good. I'll quickly share my screen, children. I'm going to share my screen now and we want to dance, okay? After dancing, then I will explain. Oh, good. So let me share my screen. I'm going to share my screen now. So if you cannot hear me, if you can hear me, children, what you are going to do for me is you will talk up. But if you can't hear me, you do like this, okay? Good. So let me share my screen now. I want to share my screen, everyone. Be calm. Okay, let me share my screen. Good. So now we want to dance, okay? Stand up, everybody. Make sure you are dancing. Make sure you are dancing. Okay? So want to... Can you see my screen now? Can you see uh, someone? Can you see this lady smiling? Can you see her? Um, um, Treasure, can you see someone standing and smiling? Yes, good. So now I'm just going to play the song. So stand up, want to dance, children. Make sure you stand up. So this song is going to help us to remember. Remember the um, our Bible verse. dancing can you see auntie <laughs> so if you can't hear don't worry just sit down all the sand crossing the log with all your heart and me all the sand Dancing, let me check you. Okay, that's fine, children. So we do that later on, okay? We after the class. Good. So let's continue because of our time. So did you enjoy the session? So the session is just saying, children, the lady there is singing the the, uh, the verse we are learning tonight that we should trust in the Lord with all our heart. Be very careful with that distracting my class. Oh, okay. I'm just going to meet you over there. Oh, that's Carrie and good luck. Welcome on board. So I'm just going to meet everyone now. No distractions. Good. So make sure you meet yourself. Let me meet you all. Meet yourself, everyone. Meet yourself. Meet yourself. Meet yourself. So you need to mute, okay? Make sure you meet yourself. Good. So tonight, children, we'll be learning about trusting the Lord. And I know so some of you will be wondering, how do you trust? What is trust? So trust means to believe in something, to believe, to have confidence and to rely on something. Okay. So children, tonight, God wants us, children, to always trust in him. God don't want us to, um, you know, to be worried. God don't want us to be anxious. You know, some of us, we get anxious when we don't get what we want. For example, if you need something, probably they say they told mommy, Oh, mommy, I love that. I love that um, that new phone. Mommy, I want a new phone. I always say, okay, don't worry. I'm going to get one for you when, you know, when I have money. So after some time, she might just get nervous and say, Oh, mommy, I want, I want a new phone. I want that phone. That, I want a um, junior's phone. I want my friend's phone. You know, sometimes when we do that, that's not nice. That's more worrying. That's us get, getting anxious. So God don't want us to do that. A child of God, children, instead of murmuring, be very careful. That's the last one. Desiree, don't play. Don't play around. Can you hear me, Desiree? No, stop that. <laughs> so stop of you to be murmuring, children. All you just need to do is to pray. So if you're aware, you mommy say, I'm going to buy you something. And mommy is not buying it yet. So all I just need to do is to tell God, Lord Jesus, I love a lovely new phone. Daddy, Lord Jesus, Please bless my mommy to be able to buy it for me. 
So when you pray and you tell mommy, mommy, guess what I prayed for you today because I wanted to buy me a new phone. So I'm praying for you for God to bless you. Mommy will be so happy that they will be so proud of you. That's different from when you just go to her, mommy, you've not bought me my phone. Mommy, no. God don't want us to be anxious. God don't want us to be hungry. God wants us to trust him with all our hearts. Santo, welcome on board. Santo and Nesoma. So God wants us to trust him with all our hearts. And how can we trust God, children? So I'm just going to call one person now to tell me, how can you trust God? How can you trust God? So unmute yourself on, on, on Treasure and tell me, how can we trust God? Unmute yourself. So I will call Treasure, I will call on Desiree and I will call on Zara. So Treasure, tell me how you will trust in the Lord. Children, let's listen to Treasure. Everybody, okay. The Lord by following His commands. By following his command, like God has says that we should not, God said in his word that we should, we should pray to him always. So children, instead of you getting worried, God said he doesn't want us to be anxious for, for anything, that we should trust in him, we should call upon him. So treasure, we trust the Lord by, by praying, by praying to him, by talking to him. Good. So, um... Zara, meet yourself and tell me, how can you trust in the Lord? By obeying Him. By obeying Him. By not getting, you know, by 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 by, by obeying Him. By doing what God has said. God said we should pray and we should wait patiently for Him. We don't need to be naggy. We don't need to be angry. We don't need to be anxious. We don't need to get get you know get upset we don't need to be you know we don't need to be worried so we need to always learn children to trust in the lord with all our hearts you know we don't say so some of us will say oh i'm trusting the lord i'm praying some of us will pray lord jesus bless my mom bless my dad and the next thing children is after we prayed some of us we still go and be angry we we'll get upset when mommy or daddy they've not given us that thing that we need no we shouldn't do that all we just need to do is to well, always remind to them. So meet yourself on um, Tiwa Tokwe. So if there's noise in your background, probably your parents are making noise. So try to mute yourself, okay? So you don't distract other children. Good. So um, children, it is important, okay, that we are trusting in the Lord and we, we do not lean on our own understanding. So and sometimes um, we might be wondering, how do I need on my understanding? I don't even understand that word. What it means is that we should not do things on our own. I'll give you another example. Okay, probably you saw a lovely toy that you love, that belongs to your friend, probably your neighbor, and you love this toy. Probably they have a lovely car, and you so much love this car. Some of parents, do you want to meet yourself, children? Don't, if there is not your background, I'm going to remove you from my class. Meet yourself now. If your parents are, um, yeah, I've muted you now, good. So, okay, as the example, children, I'm teaching you on how we do not need, uh, what do we mean by leaning on our own understanding? Okay, let me just mute um, Sefana, they just came in, welcome on board, that is um, uh, Zachariah and Sef uh, Sefana, okay. So, children, we, today we are learning that we should trust in the Lord, that we should not lean on our own understanding. And... If you if you if you wonder what does that mean to lean on my understanding it means that you are God does not want us to do things on our in our own way because some of us what we do is we do things in our own way and that is not good okay that is not good we need to learn to trust in the Lord so for example I want to give you an example how we do things in our way you know some children probably this probably um, your friend has a lovely toy like a lovely car and you really love it you know Instead of you to tell mommy and daddy, oh daddy, I love this, could you please buy this for me, okay? And sometimes daddy and mommy, they know what is right for you. If they know that that toy is going to hurt you, for example, if you enter the car probably while driving, you have accident, they might not buy it for you, okay? So mommy and dad might say, okay, don't worry, I'll buy it for you later on or when I have money. Do you know what some people do? People that lean on their own understanding. What they do is they can go, when their friends are not there, they will go and they, they, will, they will just... They will, they, some of them they will steal, they will take what does not belong to them and they will be using it to take their friend's toy. So that person has leaned on his own understanding or her own understanding. 
And when you do that, there will be consequence. Okay, so that's why God is teaching us today. Philip and Deborah, make sure you mute yourself. Mute yourself, everybody. I'm just going to mute you all now. Okay, so that is why it's important, children, that it is very important that you do not lean on your own understanding, that you are doing things, you know, correctly. So another way by which you can lean on, on your own understanding is when you worry, like I said, when you nag, when you murmur, when you get upset, when you get angry because of something, then you are not trusting the Lord. Because you, if you want something and you pray, you have to be patient. You don't need to worry. You don't need to get upset. You don't need to cry. Okay. Another way where, um, why do we need to rely on God? Why do we need to trust in the Lord? Because tonight, okay, children, we are learning that we need to trust in the Lord. And then we do not need to uh, lean on our own understanding. We do not need to do things in our own way. So why do we need to rely on the Lord? Number one is because our understanding can lead us astray. So like I said, that person that has went to take what does not belong, because when you take something that does not belong to you, that is stealing. So if if you probably need something, you couldn't, you know, your parents say they're going to get it for you, don't worry, but you decide to go and steal. Okay, that person has used his understanding, and the, his understanding, Makala last warning, his understanding will put him or her to trouble. So you don't want to be like that. You don't want your understanding, you know, to, to put you into trouble. So that's why it's really important, children, you trust in the Lord. So another thing is, uh, let me mute your crown. So last warning, last warning, last warning. So I'm just going to mute you. Children, why do you need to mute yourself when you uh, join the class? It's really important. The first thing you do is you mute your yourself when you join. So I'm just trying to mute that person there. So I'm unable to mute you. Who is that one there? Um, the person that just connected. I will remove you. If I can't mute you and I hear any noise from you, I'll remove you. So children, that's last one now. I can't hear you. You are disturbing my class. I'll remove you from the class. So if I remove you, you won't be able to connect today. You'll connect next time. So the person here, I will mute you, but I, I'm just finding very... Let me stop your video first. So I'll stop your video. Very difficult to unmute you. Let me see. To mute you. Okay, that person is starting my class. Any noise from that hand, go and remove the person. Okay. So, um, Esther, be very careful. Be very careful. Pay attention. Good girl. Desiree, I don't want to say any tongue out. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. No distraction. Good. So, children, another reason why we need to rely on the Lord is when we trust in the Lord, children, we will not fail. So, when you trust in the Lord, when you believe in God, in all, for example, children, um, okay, um, I will be using an example of when you want something, when you want a gift, okay? You want, uh, probably you want a gift. Okay, Chris, um, we're having, um, it's it coming on now. You want a new dress, you know, and you keep praying. Lord, I want a new dress. I saw one lovely dress and I want it. I want a new trainer. So children, do you know what you do in that situation? When you need that thing, you tell mommy and dad and then you pray for them. So when you pray for them, do you know how God, um, how God works? God will even bless mommy and they will buy you something that is even more beautiful than what you want but if we don't rely on on god probably we'll not start you know we'll not start getting upset angry you know that can even make mommy and daddy get upset and they won't even buy you anything they will just tell you i don't have money i'm sorry i can't buy you i don't have any money so that's why children we need to yeah, ensure okay. that um oh tonight i have um we need to ensure meet yourself that person mute Ty, what they call you meet yourself let me meet you. That's Joshua. Meet yourself, darling. Okay. Mute yourself. Um. So, should love, don't let me remind you to mute yourself. I, until now, you are exhorting anti hunger. So, I will just remove you, okay, from the class. Last one. Eh? Okay. So, another reason why we need to trust in the Lord so that we will not be in trouble. Children, if you don't trust the Lord, then you'll be in trouble. You try to do things your own way. Probably you want to eat, you're so hungry. And uh, mommy has told you that, okay, do you know what? Don't worry, uh, you will eat in the uh, in the evening. Don't take that chocolate. And you now went behind mom and you took that chocolate, you'll be in trouble. You'll be in serious trouble. So be very careful. Who is that one distracting? <laughs> Let me just check. Oh my God, what a day. 
Children, you've not been disturbing to stop in my class. What's happening? Who's person on that smart uh, edge mute edge of man? Yeah, let me mute. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So children, when you do not trust in the Lord, you will be in trouble. Okay? When you trust in the Lord, like um um Zara said, he said you when you obey, how do you trust in the Lord? You trust in the Lord by obeying God's word. Okay, by obeying, be patient, be obedient to your parents. Okay, be kind, be good, like our beatitude when we learnt about how we should be behaving. Okay, how we should be behaving as children of God. That is in Matthew chapter five. We learned that three weeks ago. So children, if you if you are just joining us for the first time, don't worry. Okay, but tell mommy and daddy to always play, um, um to always show you our videos so you can listen to them and you will understand. You can catch up with the class. Okay, good. So. Children, when we trust in the Lord, we will not be in trouble. And when we trust in the Lord, another benefit of you trusting the Lord, you'll be happy. Because God will surprise you. God will give you what you want. And then the last one I'm going to mention tonight is, when you trust in the Lord, children, when you trust in the Lord, you will know God better. For example, if you need something and you pray, Lord Jesus, I need this. Lord, give it to me. Oh, Lord Jesus, I want a lovely um, wristwatch. For my bed, um, for my Easter uh, holiday, for example, if that's what you want, I know we have different ones. Some people they want daddy and mommy to change the TV in their room. Some they want a new Bible. Uh, some want lovely stuff, okay, toys. I know you have different needs, but for example, myself now, okay, I'm praying to God, Lord, I want a lovely wristwatch, okay, I want a lovely wristwatch this Easter, and I prayed, and you know what happened, and you know if I prayed and God answered me. I will be so happy and next time that will boost my faith that will make me have more faith in the lord i want to pray again oh the last time i prayed and god answered my prayer oh my god god is so sweet so when i need anything i will try my best you know to always pray be very careful some um <laughs> let's all my don't play don't play okay i don't see that's it or some to let your mind be here so children ensure okay let both you are not playing with your device do not play with your device let your mind be here okay good so children Make sure that you are trusting in the Lord and you do not lean on your own understanding. How can we trust in the Lord? I'm just going to go back to that. By praying, by committing everything into God's hand. You know, children, today now, we trust in the Lord for the class. What do we do? Before we start our program, we pray. And you know, after the program now, we are going to pray and pray and thank God for the opportunity okay we need to be praying when we are praying it shows that we are committing every we are talking to god about everything children god wants us to talk to him about everything and we need to be talking to god and the best way we can talk to god is when praying so that's why it's really important some of us if i if i ask you now have you prayed today how many people pray today we'll be into jesus if you know you pray today so we'll be into jesus if you know you pray today so don't worry if you've not prayed today, but make sure you pray tonight. Good. It's really important you are praying. Good. Yeah, I can see Philip and Deborah waving. Good. So they pray today. Yeah, Natalie prayed today. That's good. Makala, well done. So it's good to pray. Next time I stop playing. Don't play. Don't play. Um, Karim, um, good luck. Did, did you pray today, this morning? Good. So it's important, children, you pray. It is very important. Shame, be very careful. I don't want to see that high bold eyes. Shame, I don't want to see that bold eyes. Yes. I don't want to see that bold eyes. Good. God bless you. So meet yourself back. So children, yeah, it's really yeah. important you pray. Yeah. Another way of we trusting the Lord. Yeah. Okay, meet yourself back. Thank you. <laughs> children, always meet yourself. See what talk about very last warning. Always meet yourself. Good. So yeah. another another way by which we can pray or we can trust the Lord is by Listen to, by keeping God's word. When we read the Bible, God said, don't do this. Do not lie like our Ten Commandments. Next week, we'll be learning about our Ten Commandments. So I know we've taught you before, So, but don't worry. Next week, we'll be learning again. We want to know more about our Ten Commandments. So when you listen, as you've come tonight, and TJ has taught you that don't worry, don't be anxious, don't get angry, don't get upset. Even if you want something and daddy and mommy, they don't have it at that time. Don't worry, keep praying. Okay, that's what Antija has taught you tonight. That's one of the things Antija has taught you tonight. So, and when you go back home and you do this, children, and when you go back home and you do this, do you know what happened? What will happen, children, is, you know, you are trusting the Lord. And as you are trusting, God will make you happy. God will do it for you. God will do it for you. Where is Elizabeth? Um, I can't see Shea Yifumi. Where is Shea Yifumi? Shea Yifumi, where are you? Where are you to Jesus? Shea Yifumi, where are you to Jesus? 
So, where we are to Jesus, share for me? Good. So, where's Esther? Okay, Israel connected tonight. God bless you, Israel. God bless you. Next week, you'll be joining preteen. Okay, good. So, children, it's important that we are trusting the Lord with all our heart. Okay, before we continue, let's quickly recite our Bible verse again. You see, half time me. Make sure you are saying loud and clear, okay? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Say that, children. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Say that. Proverbs, I know you've missed yourself, that's fine. Make sure you are talking wherever you are, okay? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Okay, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. You have said that, children. Do not lean on your own understanding. So I'm just going to ask you a question now. I'm just going to call like few um few people now. This is a time, question and answer time. You don't think I've been teaching you now. I'm just going to call one of you to recite it. So if you know, you can recite it offhand. You can recite, recite your Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. We're going to Jesus. If you know, you can recite it. We'll be going to Jesus. In your Lord, be very careful. You need to be very careful. Why are you waving your legs? Be very careful. In your Lord. So, who wants to tell me? If you know, you can recite your Proverbs 3 verse 5. You want to try. You, you are not sure, but you want to try. We'll be going to Jesus. Don't worry until we help you. Okay, Desiree, I'm going, to, I'm going to call you now. Meet yourself, Desiree, and let's try. Let's try together. Myself and Desiree want to recite it. Or meet yourself, darling. Click on mute. Or meet the vo Do not to do it. Okay. Okay, let's Stephanie try it. Stephanie, or meet yourself and try. So, let's listen. Stephanie wants to recite Proverbs. Because that's your assignment, you're going to recite. You're going to read it without looking at the Bible. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Are you ready, Stephanie? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's go. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Okay. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. And lean not on your own understanding okay i recite it alone recite it alone you should be able to recite children it's so it's so simple to learn okay share me share me help us help us share me or meet yourself and talk so i'm going to call dara see me after share me okay meet yourself share me but yeah read this loud and clear read it out loud and clear You don't have a Bible, but Auntie has been teaching you all this way, and you are there playing. Be very careful. That's the last warning. Make sure your mind is here. Good. So, who wants to have a uh, shave for me? Who wants to have a shave for me? Oh, Israel, omit yourself, my darling. Israel, omit yourself and read. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and learn not your own understanding in all your ways. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's clap for Israel. Well done. Let's clap for Israel, everybody. Israel has done well. So you have to clap for... Good. Who is that Mofi? Who is on that Mofi? So children, who want to tell me the Bible verse we read tonight? Who want to tell me the Bible uh, the Bible chapters? Oh, sorry. The book of the Bible we read tonight. Who want to tell me the book of the Bible we read tonight? So meet yourself, Sarah. Die, roll, and talk. Or meet yourself. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Good. Let's clap. Wow, that's good. Let's clap for Sarah. Make sure you're clapping. Good. So now I'm just going to call, um, I'm, I'll call Marvelous. Oh, Marvelous, you connected late. You joined late. But that's fine. Okay, next we make sure you connect on time. Good. I'm just going to call two people. They'll tell what they've learned tonight. So I'm, I'm, I'll call um, Philip. Philip, I'll meet yourself and talk. What have you learned tonight, Philip? I know today is, is your second class. I'm guessing, or probably the first main class. So meet yourself and talk, darling. Tell me what you've learned, darling. So let's listen to Philip, then I'll call. Is good luck there? So I'll call good luck after. Okay. Okay, what have you learned, Philip? I learned. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. You've learned that we should trust in the Lord. 
Is that what you plant? Is that what you've learned, Philip? Don't be shy, just no. talk. So what have you learned? Tell me what you've learned tonight. <laughs> so children, it's really oh, important you have a jotter. So you can jot something down. So so you don't need to like cram. You don't need to start thinking when I say ask you a question. But if you've written something down, you're able to read it out. Good. So let me call um good luck. Unmute yourself, darling, and tell me what you've learned tonight. Good luck, unmute yourself and tell me what you've learned. Yeah, I learned that we are made of pen. You learned that what? I I learned that I obey my parents. That you obey your parents. Good. When you obey your parents, it means that you are trusting. You are relying on God's word. Good. So thank you. Let's have a good luck, everyone. That's good. At least he has, he has tried. Well done. So now I'm just going to call on um, Dara Simeon. Meet yourself and tell me what you plan tonight. I've learned that we should always trust God, God with all our heart. Hmm, fantastic. Make sure you're clapping for Dara Simi. Well done. God bless you. So, um, Ibukun Olua, tell me what you've learned tonight, my love. Tell me what have you yeah. learned, Ibukun? Ibukun Ashim Olowo. Or meet yourself, darling. Unmute yourself and talk. Don't waste my time. If you want to ask you to unmute your mute, okay? Please Good. Steal. What have you learned tonight? That we shouldn't steal from others. We shouldn't. You shouldn't steal from others. Children, you shouldn't take what does not belong to you. When you need something, you tell your parents and you wait patiently, because God wants us to trust Him. Okay? You wait patiently. You pray for them. Lord, bless my mom. Bless my dad. I want this. Instead of you go, doing it on, in your own way, instead of you leaning on your, on your own understanding. Okay, and the reason why you don't need to lean on your understanding is your understanding may lead you astray. Your understanding may put you into trouble. Okay, but God, if you trust in the Lord, you'll be happy. Okay, you will get you you will get uh, your desired results. Stop playing, Desiree. Don't play. Okay, you'll be happy at the end of the day. When God answer you, you 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 will, you'll be impressed and you have more faith in the Lord. And God wants us to have faith in Him. He wants us to trust Him. He don't want us to do things on our own way. So that's why we need to be very careful. Okay, um, who is that? Is that um, Zachariah? Meet yourself and tell me what you've learned. Or say, find out. Or meet yourself and tell me. What have you learned tonight? I will promise to, to trust Jesus every day. Good. Let's clap for, make sure you clap for us. Um, is that Zachariah? Yes. Yeah, clap for Zachariah, everybody. Ooh, well done. God bless you. So, to talk about, tell me what you've learned tonight. Then I'm going to bring our our preteen the regenerals very soon, okay? Good. So to attack on meet yourself and tell me what you plant. <laughs> to attack on meet yourself and tell me what you plant tonight. Do you know how to meet yourself? Yes. Good. So let me call Sonto. Tell me what you plant tonight, Sonto darling. Um I wanna what have you learned? What are you going to tell mommy? What verse, what Bible verse, um, um, what is the book of the Bible we read tonight? What is the book of the Bible we read? Um, Who wants to help? I'm going to dance. I'm going to do exercise. Uh, oh, you want to do exercise. Okay, let me mute you. Good. So, um, uh, who do I want to call now? So, um, Dara, see me on meet yourself and tell. What have you learned? <laughs> Dara, see what have you learned? Open or meet yourself and talk. I've learned that we should always trust God with all our hearts. With all your heart. So, for Lanyan, tell me what you've learned. Thank you, Dara, see me. I know you got it the other time. So, that, um, for Lanyan, tell me. We should always do God's command. You should always do God's command. Oh. Good commandment. That's fine. So Toba, tell me what you've learned. Sorry, children, if I'm not calling you, I'm not seeing your face. That's why. So Toba, you want to meet yourself and tell me. Okay, before Toba talk, marvelous, so meet yourself. I know today's the first time. So tell me what you've learned so far. So let's listen. So to be very careful. I'm going to be very careful. Don't play around. I will talk to mommy after the class. Stop playing around. Okay. That, that we should never lie to God. You should never lie. You should never lie. You know, 
we should always trust in the Lord with all our heart. Good, that's a great attempt. So children, make sure you watch this video again and you write down something. Have a jotter, children. If you have a jotter, you can write something down. You'll be able to remember. And when auntie calls, you'll be able to tell auntie what you've learned. Good. Before I go, let me quickly call on Fifolua. Or meet yourself, Fifolua, and tell me what you've learned. So when I call you and you don't uh, answer me on time, I call another person because of our time. So make sure when I call you, you just omit yourself and you talk. Okay, let me quickly call Karin. Karin, omit yourself. Tell me what you plan tonight. What are you telling mommy and daddy? I I love your voice. God bless you. So let me not miss you. <laughs> so send auntie. Send me uh, your hoodie, okay? Tell me what you plant, okay? Good, that is um, um, Karen. So, um, people who are telling what you plant, I know you are talking. I'll meet yourself and talk. But always obey the Ten Commandments. Obey the, you need to know your Ten Commandments. You need to know the Word of God. When you are reading I, the I Word know, of God. I know most of them. I'm you know, eight. don't worry. So, next week you are learning that, okay? Good. So, meet yourself back. Thank you. Let's start for people who are Karen. To the tribe. If you know you've talked tonight, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. If I've not called you tonight, don't worry. Next week probably I'll call you. Okay, good. So um Joshua, meet yourself. Uh, Joshua, dear call you and tell me what you've learned tonight. Why I had so now I'm just going to have the preteen. The preteen will be joining us very soon. So they will be coming back now. So the preteen are coming back. They will be rounding up our class tonight. So um Joshua, dear call you and meet yourself and tell me what you've learned. When I call you, make sure you answer me quickly. Okay, good. Also, while we're waiting for Toba, don't you tell me what you've learned? Toba, meet yourself and tell me what you've learned tonight. Toba, I can't see you. I don't know why you mute your video. What have you learned? That's why I've asked Joshua, but Joshua is not talking. Joshua, what have you learned tonight? What's tonight's topic? Still. We should not steal. We should not steal. We should trust in the Lord. Instead of stealing, we should pray. We should not say what does not belong to us. We should not now. Good. So uh, I believe I have all my preteen. Let me check if everybody is here now. Let me check if everyone is here. Mm, I'm going to check now. So I believe we have everyone back. Yeah. So, do I have everyone back now? I see some of my children. They're not back yet. Are you all back? Okay, good. I will close the yeah, I think we're all back now. No, some of some, some of them are still there. Where's Abraham? Abraham, okay. Abraham. Grace, where are you? Is, Ruth is there. Grace is here. Peace is here. Okay, Shima okay. is here. Okay, okay. So where? Abraham is here now. Okay. Um, Dave is here. Okay. Um, Thank you, Joshua. Ma. Joshua is here as well. TJ is here as well. So good. Yeah. Thank I you, Ma. Let's clap for Jesus, children. Let's clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Good. So, children, you've done well tonight. I believe you plan one or two things tonight. And if you know you can't remember anything, okay, tonight, probably you were playing when I was teaching you. Make sure you watch the video again, okay? Good. So, welcome, welcome back, our preteen. And then we will quickly call two of them to tell us what they've learned. So, we're going to call two of our preteen. They will tell us what, what they've learned. So, this is an opportunity for you children. If you've been playing around, if you've been gisting, this is an opportunity for you to learn, okay? Good. I'm going to call Grace. Grace, you want to tell me what you've learned tonight? So, I'm calling Grace. I'm calling Abraham. So, let's listen to Grace, children. Listen to them. Oh, I keep calling um, Tiwa Tokwe instead of Temilola. Oh my god, I wanted to call Temilola. I keep shouting Tiwa Tokwe, but that's fine. I didn't know Tiwa Tokwe was in the other class. That's good. Yeah, so, oh yeah, she's in the other class. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. It was Tiwa Temi Tokwe that I wanted, Temilola I wanted to call. Okay, Grace, are you ready? Grace, are you ready? Okay, yeah. talk now. <laughs> So today we learnt Proverbs 3 verse 5 okay. and we were reciting it today. Fantastic. Okay. So do you want to recite it? Okay, recite it for me. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and do not lean 
and do not lean on your own understanding. I still see you reading, so you need to learn it offhand, okay? Okay, where's Abraham? Abraham, talk now. So let's listen to Abraham. So, and now we have Ruth, what Ruth learned tonight as well. So, Abraham, where are you? So, make sure you listen to them. This is our adult kids, okay? Good. So, Abraham, where are you? And talk. When I call you, should I hate when I call you and you're wasting my time? Where's Abraham? I'm here now. Okay, I talk. What have you learned? Um, so, Proverbs 25 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding. Good. And that means that um, in everything we should do, we should trust God and not try to do what is of our own accord. Fantastic. And I also learned that Proverbs is in the book of poetry. Fantastic, fantastic. Good. Let's clap it. We are clapping for Abraham. Well done. That we should not do things in our own way. You know, children, when you do things in your own way, let me quickly recall what I taught the kids. Okay? The reason why we shouldn't do things in our own, our own way is because our, our knowledge, our understanding is limited and they can lead us astray. Okay, children? And then when you don't trust in the Lord, then if we trust in the Lord, we, we, we will never fail. So if you don't trust in the Lord, you might fail. You might be in trouble. So that is why we need to trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord with all your heart, you'll be happy. You'll not be a, um, an angry child. You'll not be a, a very sad child. No, you'll be a joyful, um, a, a joyful child. So that's why it's really important, children, you know, you trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, you will know God more. Okay, you, your God will, you know, your faith will increase in the Lord. Probably you've been praying on some, you need something, and instead of you find you know so, you know some of our pretty now you know some people what they do the bad children not us okay what they do is probably if they need something they want to buy they saw probably uh chocolate they want to buy some they will steal their parents money so they'll steal it they'll go and buy it um you know and they'll be in trouble when they're caught so you don't want to do that but when you do you want a chocolate you want something nice so what i do if i'm if i'm you i'm just going to tell mommy and daddy oh mommy i love this brand of chocolate i really love it mom Probably, mom. I'm, I don't want to disturb you, mom. I, I know, I know, mom. I know you are. You have a lot to do. You have a lot to buy now. So, mommy, don't worry. Probably next week, when you have money, could you please buy me one? And then, mommy will say, okay, fine. Don't worry. Just remind me next week. And then, what I will do again is when I'm praying, I pray God bless my mom, bless my mom, so that they will she'll be able to buy me, bless my dad, so that he will he will be able to buy me everything I need. And then when I pray, I will be happy. And then probably next week when mommy come back from work and just surprise me, this is your chocolate, I'll be very happy. And that means that my prayer has, has been answered. And next week, I want to pray more. I want to pray for more things. So when you trust in the Lord, when you, when, when you don't do things in your own way, when you do, so that's what some people do is they will just go to Tesco and they will steal. They will go to shop and they will steal. And when they are called, they will be in trouble. You don't want to be in trouble, children. God bless you. So I'm just going to share my screen now. We dance to a song. I've done that with the kids. But I want my um, preteen to listen to that song and then we just sing and then we pray. And that will be the end of the class tonight. So let me share my screen. So Grace, do you want to tell me? Can you see the screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, now everybody stand up. We want to dance. This time around, make sure you pay attention. Don't joke. Don't play around. So to be very careful, okay? Good. Okay, let's start. I'm super proud of you all. I can see you dancing.
Thank you, children. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Well done. Thank you. Let's clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Now we want to pray. We want to pray. Okay. Close your eyes, children, and pray. Close your eyes. Tell God. Close your eyes. Lord, help me to trust in you. Help me, O oh Lord, to always trust in you. To always trust in you by praying, by reading my Bible. Close your eyes, children. Make sure you are praying. By obeying my parents. Close, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Sometimes God speaks to us through our parents. And we need to trust God's word to them. Close your eyes, children. Pray. Lord, help me. Lord Jesus, help me to always trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lord, help me to trust in you, to, or to always pray, to believe in you, to have confidence in you, to rely on you, O oh Lord. Help me so that I'll be happy, I'll be an happy child in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. So, children, amen. The next prayer point we're going to pray for daddy and mommy. Close your eyes. If you love mommy and daddy, we're going to Jesus. You love mommy and daddy. Good. Now close your eyes and pray. Lord bless my mom. Bless my dad. Close your eyes. Make sure you are praying. Lord bless mommy. Bless daddy with everything they need to take care of me. Close your eyes. Make sure you are praying. Easter is coming now. I know some of you, you need a lot of stuff. So it's, this is an opportunity for you to pray, okay? Pray, pray. Close your eyes and pray. Lord bless mommy. Bless daddy. Bless us. Bless every my family. Toby, make sure you are praying. Toba, I don't know you've been playing. I don't know why. The person on that TOB, be very careful. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, oh Lord. I pray, bless my I'm praying for my own mom. I'm praying for my dad. So make sure you are praying for yours. Lord bless mommy, bless daddy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the next prayer point now, children, before we now sing for Makala. Okay, today is Makala's birthday. So, children, um, let's close the eyes now. Pray, Lord Jesus. Bless glorious Christian children. Bless all our sponsors. Some of some are praying they'll be sponsoring those children. So some of us now, like Makala, should be getting gifts, you know, on our birthday. So close your eyes, children, and make sure you are praying. Pray that God bless glorious Christian children. Bless Auntie Joy. Bless Auntie Tammy. Bless all our sponsors. Close your eyes and begin to pray for us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I'll be saying amen, children. Make sure I'm not saying amen to empty prayers. Hope you are praying for me on next summer. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I trust Shemi. Amen. I trust Philip. Philip and um and her sister. Yeah, I know they will pray for me and Deborah. Amen. Amen. I trust Grace. They will pray for me. Good. Thank you. Amen. I trust we follow her. I trust Toluani. Amen. Dave, I told you not to lie down. Dave, why are you lying down? Dave, do you want to sit down properly? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. So before we share the grace, why, why is Nak um, Makala? Makala, where are you? Say hello. Let's see your face. Let's see the celebrant. Where's Makala? So now children want to sing for Makala. Where are you? I can't see your face. Where's Makala? Oh, she's... I need you to talk so I, you can come to my slide. I, I'm, I'm in slide two. Where's Makala? Okay. That's Makala. Say hello, everyone. Yeah, Makala, say hello to everyone. Say hello. Or meet yourself and say hello. Or meet yourself. So let's see your face. No, no, no. I want Makala to talk. Where's Makala? Hello, Makala. Hello, Makala. Hello, Makala. Makala, meet yourself. You've not meet yourself. Hello, Makala. <laughs> okay, now. So, where's Makala? Say, I am Makala. Where's Makala? I am Makala. Okay. You are here. Good. You didn't answer me on time. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now children, let's sing for Makala. Happy birthday to you. Stand up, Makala. Stand up, stand up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Makala. Happy birthday to you. We wish you long life and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. So that's Makala from United States of America. So now we want to pray for Makala. Close eyes, everybody. Let's pray. Let's close our, Let's pray for. Uh, be very careful, Sonto and um, and your sister. I will talk to mommy after the class. You need to be very careful, okay? Good. You only talk when auntie talk to you. 
Okay, so now children, let's pray. Let's pray for Makala. Let's pray that God will bless her, bless her new year. Close your eyes, make sure you are praying. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I pray. Makala is saying amen to your prayers. Make sure you are praying good. Lord bless Makala. Lord bless her and her family. Lord protects her like the apple of your eyes. Makala, you will not die in the name of Jesus. You will live long in the name of Jesus. God will be with you in the name of Jesus. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, clap for yourself. You are so love every one of you. Clap for yourself. Make sure you are clapping. Clap for yourself. You've done well tonight. I'm super proud of you, children. I'm proud of you. Good. So now, children, let's share the grace. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet friendship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So point one to let me point to you. Surely, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Three powerful hallelujah. 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 Children, I'm super proud of you. And I love you so much. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, everyone. Love you. <laughs> I need to go to the next class. Ah, oh God. <laughs>